Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Kuldeep Kapri, radiology resident from JJH. I'll begin my presentation with the case of a 44-year-old female patient who came to us with complaints of pain on the left half of the face since one year. The pain was sharp shooting, having electric shock-like sensations lasting only for a few seconds, brought on by certain triggers such as washing her face with cold water, no history of any head injury, photophobia, phonophobia, no significant family history. The diagnosis on the clinical grounds of trigeminal neuralgia was made. The patient was advised to get an MR to determine what is the cause for her trigeminal neuralgia. Now, on cyst sequence and MR, you can see that there is a tuft of vessels which is causing indentation and compression of the cisternal segment of the left trigeminal nerve. The right sided trigeminal nerve appears to be quite free. The diagnosis of a dural levy fistula causing great poor neurovascular conflict was made. Coming to the topic, pathologies involving the trigeminal nerve and role of MR imaging. Trigeminal neuralgia is a disorder which is characterized by recurrent unilateral brief electric shock like sensations, which are unilateral having a number of onset and termination only for a few seconds, limited to the distribution of one or more of the trigeminal nerve. Now, this is the clinical diagnosis with imaging useful only to determine the location of the pathology and the underlying cause, and also in order to determine in helping in the guidance for the treatment. So coming to the brief anatomy of the trigeminal nerve, it has a nucleus, which has the intra interaxial cores, and we have the extraaxial cores, the sessional segment, Michael scape, cavernous segments, and the three peripheral segments. The nucleus has the sensory nucleus and the motor nucleus extending from the midbrain to the cervical spinal cord is the sensory nucleus and we have the cisternal segment, the gasserian, the trigeminal ganglion, and then we have the three divisions of the albic maxillary and the mandibular V1, V2, and V3. Now we'll study individual pathologies affecting the individual segments of the nerve coming to the trigeminal nucleus in the brainstem. There are two nuclei. Uh, the sensory and the motor nucleus. The sensory nucleus lies natural lateral to the fourth ventricle and motor nucleus lies medial to it in the bones. Now, the pathologies affecting the trigeminal nuclei include the myelinating disorders, MS being most common, neoplasm such as gliomas, metastasis, vascular lesions such as infarcts, AV malformations, cavernomas, infections such as Roman cephalitis. Here we have a case of a young 27-year-old female who had a known case of relapsing remitting MS complaining of sudden onset pain in the right side of the face. Uh, titubated images suggest of a uh, hyperintense lesion in the bones on the right side uh, in the tegmentum. This were uh, considered to be the cause for the new onset of pain in the right side of the face of patient. Coming to the cisternal segment from the nuclei, coursing through the prepontine cistern are the cisternal segments. Here we have the root entry zone, uh, which lies about 2 mm in length, about 5 to 7 mm from the interlateral surface of the pons, which is the narrowest site, which is most vulnerable to the pressure. Now, pathologies affecting the cisternal segment include the neurovascular compressions, most common overall, uh, from the branches of the superior cerebellar artery or the artery itself, then neoplasms of the CP angle, and infections and inflammations such as meningitis or pyositis. A 33-year-old male patient complaining of pain on the right side of the face since two to three years. Uh, MR, on this sequence, you can see there is indentation and compression, the red circle of the left of the right trigeminal nerve. Uh, mild thinning of the nerve is also seen of the cisternal segment. In the left side, the nerve is... Uh, is uninvolved. Uh, this was a case of neurovascular conflict from the superior cerebellar artery. Now, there are various grades of indentation and compression in the neurovascular conflict. Uh, these include grade 1 being touching, to grade 4 being adhesions and indentation of the nerve, to grade 5 being frank atrophy and thinning of the nerve. A 30-year-old male patient having electric shock like sensations in the right side of the face. On this sequence, you can see that there is a T2 hyperintense lesion uh, solid cystic lesion, which is seen in the right CP angle, causing indentation and compression of the pons, middle cerebellar peduncle of the cisternal segment of the fifth trigem, uh, fifth cranial nerve, and so involving the seventh eighth nerve complex. Now, on basic sequences, T2 flare hyperintense, inadequate flare separation, and diffusion restriction. This was a case, a classical case of a right CP angle epidermal cyst. Another case of a 40 year old male patient having throbbing sensation, similar complaints on the left side of the face. Now, epidermal cyst was diagnosed outside on outside MR. Uh, you can see on this sequence that there is uh, indentation and, uh, of, and displacement of the cystinal segment of the left trigeminal nerve uh, by a cystic lesion. Uh, it was T2 flare hyper intense, hyper intense E1 on T1 and with pituitary bright spot, well maintained posterior pituitary bright spot and causing mild compression of the pituitary gland and minimal to no post contrast enhancement. This was actually a case of Rathke's cleft cyst. Then again, a 55 year old patient, similar complaints on the left side of the face. Here you can see there's a dilated vertebrobacillar system causing indentation and compression of the left trigeminal nerve. This was secondary to vertebrobacillar dolicoectasia. Coming to the other segment, that is the Meckel's cave, where lies the, the Gasserian ganglion, the semilunar ganglion. Uh, and then we are at the ganglion, the sensory division of the trigeminal nerve divides into three parts of the almic mancillary and the mandibular. Pathologies affecting the Meckel's cave include schwannoma, meningioma, epidermoid cyst, perineal spread from the malignancies and skull-based lesions. 
Here we have a case of 72 year old female complaining of pain in the left side, intermittent giddiness, loss of balance. You can see this is broad based lesion, uh, T2 player hyperintense, I2 intense on T1 in the right CP angle. Uh, on this sequence, you can see that there is extension into the Meckel's cave, that there is thinning and compression of the cisternal segment and in the Meckel's cave causing compression of the, likely compression of the uh, ganglion of the trigeminal and now also compression and indentation of the 70th nerve complex in the left side, dural, dural taste lesion, having a dural enhancing dural tail. This was a case of meningioma. Another 36-year-old patient, already a known case of invasive breast cancer, sclerotic bone emits on hormonal therapy, ERPR positive, or immune negative, having TG sensations left after the recent onset. Uh, on MR, you can see that there are focal nodular lesions which are seen in the right frontal aspect. You can also see similar morphology lesions in the uh, left uh, metal scale closely abutting the left trigeminal nerve. In the given clinical context, these focal nodular dural enhancing lesions are considered to be metastases. Then coming to the cavernous segment, where only the V1 and V2 lie on the, along the lateral wall, the V3 is not related to the cavernous segment. Uh, the primary lesions in the cavernous segment itself are quite rare. These include neoplasms, vascular and uh, causes, and reasons of these cavernous segment of the ICA, infections and formations related by the conditions such as Tulosa and syndrome. Here we have a case of 40-year-old male patient having uh, facial pain on the right side in the upper aspect of the face. You can see on MR that there is a T2, T1, T2 heterogeneous lesion with T2 hypointense foci within, in, with heterogeneous post contrast enhancement. On say second, you can see this involvement of the cavernous segment. This was a case of uh, fungal granuloma involving the right cavernous sinus. Then we have peripheral segment, the ophthalmic maxillary mandibular, leaving from the superior orbital fissure entering into the orbit from the forum and rotator and the periodicopalatine fossa, and then from the forum and oval along with the motor division into the infratemporal fossa. Pathologies in one of the peripheral segment include neoplasm such as perineural spread, schonomas, neurofibromas, infections, inflammations from the sinuses, nose. A 45-year-old male patient having complaints on the left, left sided diminution of vision and headaches since two months. You can see that there is a T2 player hyper intense, well-defined lesion in the radiopalatine fossa posterior to the left maxillary sinus. And this lesion is heter showing heterogeneous post contrast enhancement. It is solid cystic in nature. And this was considered to be a shonoma in the pterygopalatine fossa, likely arising from the mandibular division of the trigeminal nerve or from the pterygopalatine ganglion or from the inferior orbital nerve or from other cell, small communicating nerves. Coming to the treatment and prognosis. Initial treatment of trigeminal neuralgia is basically medical. Carbamazepine and or gabapentin are usually given to control the symptoms. The uh, large surgical series have confirmed that microvascular decompression of the nerve root is also an efficient and durable treatment for the trigeminal neuralgia. Other treatment procedures include gamma nerve surgeries, rhizotomies, destruction of the trigeminal ganglion and nerve root itself in the metal scape by thermal, chemical, or mechanical methods. The other, the basic treatment also includes a treatment of the underlying causes such as of the meningioma, schonoma, or treatment of the malignancies of the meningitis infections, etc.